What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video and in today's video, um, as you guys know, we're finally gonna be revealing the E90 M3 donor car, but at the same time, we have another E90, which for those of you guys who don't know, I picked up in the last video, I, I just kinda like have this in the back scenes, I'm building it on Instagram, and I actually called over my boy, Mike, Michael, right? Yeah, Michael. Before I mess that up real quick. <laughs> um, you are a detailer here in the Sacramento area? Yeah. And uh, currently right now, we're actually getting done to this car, is my headlights, you guys can see this one looks so much better. Before then guys, this thing was like absolutely hideous it pretty much looked as bad as actually no it was worse than this one um he actually cleaned it up he did a lot of the better things it was kind of like it had like a wavy it looked like the truck yeah yeah bro like i'll have to show we're gonna have to get the truck done too <laughs> yeah guys but the headlights honestly make a difference when it comes to the front end of the car like dang that really like honestly getting headlights done on a car well not only does it look a lot better but definitely helps increase the value of the car as well um because we're getting the headlights done i might as well get these fog lights done and then since my boy is here we're gonna be getting the truck done as well so um we're just gonna knock out all this stuff real quick show you guys the before and after it should be really quick and then we're actually gonna get to show you guys the brand new e90 m3 donor project And just like that, guys, the car is officially complete. We can finally get to the E90 M3 reveal. Um, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of a clip right now. Yes, that clip is us actually breaking down on the side of the road. I actually pulled off a cable, a wire that I saw getting run. You see that red wire down there? That wire was being run from uh, the fuse box all the way to the back. And uh, long story short, I was wondering what that wire was being routed for. It was literally tapped into the fuse box and the wire was like down here and it wasn't going to the fuel pump. It was actually coming right here and I yanked it and it just got pulled out from right there. So I did some research and uh, long story short, the reason the car cut out and threw no faults until that point is I believe the module is overheating. Now it could be the fuel pump still, but I do believe it's the module just because when he actually wired the module, um, our car did not die. I was running and driving for like the last couple of days with no issues. So that being said, let's take you guys to the backyard, show you guys the new car, the new E90 M3, and at the same time, pull out the module from it uh, because our donor, our E91 has a module, so we won't need the one from our E90 M3, so it just makes it easy for us to fix two cars with one car. The E90 M3 donor car is already coming in handy, let me tell y'all. Three, two, one, guys. <laughs> Welcome our brand new E90 M3. This is the damage. What you guys see right here is the damage of the car. And, and honestly, guys, the battery's not even getting damaged uh, from this hit. If you guys look over here, uh, the battery is actually perfectly intact. And uh, the only problem is it, it is slightly bent to the point where I can't actually get the battery out. But the battery was fine. Turns out this battery is good as well. I replaced literally the battery positive cable on um, two of the, uh, what's it called, battery distributors to get this car off the trailer when we ended up picking it up. So I'm actually gonna throw in a few clips I think I have on my phone of taking delivery of this car and uh, getting it started because right now I can't get this thing started anymore. And I'll explain in a minute. She's running, boys. I finally figured it out, it was just a really dead battery. I guess a Texas battery, you can't even freaking jump it. But if I put a new battery in here, freaking started, that's awesome. Guys, this tow truck has been late for a week and I, I don't know why, but me just holding him up for another hour made me feel so bad. So any is, finally got the car situated. Turns out it was a bad battery. For those of you guys who actually don't know, so I'm, I was struggling trying to get this car off the trailer because it's on an incline. It needs to go up before down. And uh, yeah, we couldn't figure out a way to get this thing off in the middle of the night. It's literally like 11.30. And uh, we did replace the positive cable, terminals, everything, fuses. Turns out it was a completely dead battery. So don't underestimate a completely dead battery. Replace that, 
We good boys. So yeah, guys, as you all saw from the clips, this thing actually started. I bought this car uh, not from insurance and uh, it was not a run and drive. So it was kind of a risky business, but because of the damage, I was like, worst comes to worst. We do have every single panel that we need. For those of you guys who don't know what that is exactly, we do have both quarter panels. This quarter panel honestly can still be reusable. We just have to pull that out, but we have this shape, which is important on the other side. It's absolutely perfect. The side skirts from an E90 M3 will work perfectly with the wagon and E92 won't work. These mirrors, these shadow line mirrors are gonna work perfectly on our E91. If we had E92 mirrors, that wouldn't work. And again, we have the whole front end. We have the hood, the bumper, the fenders, the radiator support, the headlights, every single piece, guys, we have on this car. It's gonna be transferred over our wagon. It's gonna be absolutely insane. And if you guys look over here, again, we have everything intact and everything looks so, so, so good. This car actually has shadow line trim. I'm gonna be selling the stuff like this because uh, my, my honestly, my daily um, doesn't need this. It actually has shadow line. The wagon, unfortunately, does not share the same pieces, but yeah, look at that. That is some mint shadow line trim. Coming into the interior, guys, speaking of mint, check out this car. So this door card isn't in the best shape, but uh, that doesn't matter because if you guys look at this seat for the most part, other than this section right here, I don't know if I'm gonna rock these seats, but the seats are in really good shape. We have the manual gearbox, which I'm sure you guys are super happy about. To have a manual E91 end of the day would be absolutely insane. If you guys look at this too, it looks like this has been replaced at one point because this looks brain spanking new. Like most of them, these, most of these are actually faded. Even these buttons look like, uh, I was gonna say it looks like replaced at one point, but nah, dang. They always break. So unfortunately that button is kind of broken. It does have the carbon fiber trim, which none of my other M3s had, I believe. I think maybe my E92 DCT one might have had it, but not my first one that we rebuilt. And this steering wheel is in really, really, really good shape. Not to mention this trim is in really, really, really good shape. It doesn't have any peeling anywhere. This airbag's intact. We have all the black pieces that go on this headliner. I actually don't need this headliner. I'm gonna be trying to sell this headliner, but as far as all these pieces, like the dome light and everything else that goes on the headliner, uh, we gonna be reusing all that into ours. Uh, we're gonna get our headliner actually restitched uh, because it's almost impossible to find a black headliner for E91. So we'll probably just get it redone at a professional place and uh, that would be that. But yeah, guys, I would honestly guys, I would honestly give you guys a crank right now, mainly because it does start up and it does drive. I actually drove this back here. I tried getting it started just recently, but unfortunately it looks like we have a bad alternator because I put a new battery in here and it started up and uh, I was like, oh, that's perfect. We can actually move this thing around and stuff like that. But then the next day, it just cut out while it was running. And that means it's a pretty much a bad alternator. I put another new battery in it, started up no problem. It was running, 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 and then it died again. So it just keeps draining batteries, which basically means that it's a bad alternator. What are the odds that after a car has been hit, it has a bad alternator? But yes, guys, we have the black carpet. We're gonna be moving over the dead pedal, which we're gonna be moving over all of this black pieces, um, the whole interior, honestly. We're gonna be reusing all this interior until eventually I can find maybe a red interior. be super sick uh, to throw in that car. Um, we do have the M3 door seals, which front and rear, since this is an E90, um, will work on uh, the wagon, which is absolutely perfect. You have the floor mats. And come around to the interior, guys. We have two bonuses that I did not see at the auction photos. I'm not gonna lie. So on top of the fact that, thank the Lord, everything looks gravy in the Navy. This thing does look like it has, um, I believe, the uh, the EDC suspension. I don't know what is it called exactly. I think of the EDC. It just looks super dope. Like, look at that. That's pretty sick. This is actually pretty much like a track package, other than the fact it doesn't have a carbon roof. Um, this is pretty much a track package because it doesn't have the nav on it. It is a manual gearbox. It does have the EDC suspension. This front bumper, the paint is kind of chipping on it, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna go with this paint. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with a different paint color, which I'm still kind of deciding on. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But yeah, this engine bay was so, so, so dirty in the photos that I did not realize that we have an AFB power intake. This is not maybe like a $400 intake, but hey guys, AFB power is definitely better than no power. So that's super nice. So you have an aftermarket intake, one of our first modifications for E91 M3 build. I do wanna eventually get the whole carbon engine bay. Uh, they have the carbon plenum here. They have the carbon plenum here. I actually never done those upgrades to my previous cars, mainly because uh, I, I I planned on selling them. But this E91, unless some guy literally comes out of nowhere with like, that he's a baller or whatever and offers you like 50 Gs for this E91, I'm pretty much gonna be keeping this car mainly because this is gonna be a build that I know I'm gonna be emotionally attached to by the time I'm finished with it. So uh, yeah, it's not gonna be a car I'm gonna give up anytime soon. And I would love to make it absolutely the perfect E chassis, not to mention it's a wagon and make it the best spec out there. So anywho, uh, the alternator is not the only issue with this thing. So the alternator was one thing. Another thing I noticed, 
that should not be doing that that means that this piece here is not actually uh clamped down properly this side doesn't move this side moves that's kind of a little bit worrisome i don't know why that's like that hopefully um the engine again runs and drives it's perfectly good sounds healthy hopefully that doesn't they didn't cause any issues all this is caked up over here i don't remember seeing this on my other e92 m3s maybe this is painted i'm not sure but i don't know why it's all super caked up like that but looking inside the engine that looks very healthy and i'm pretty happy with that so other than the AFE intake, we do have one more mod I did not expect. Yes, that does say Borla. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a full Borla exhaust, mainly because when I got this thing started, I didn't actually hear, um, I, the car didn't sound a buttload louder. Um, it does look like we have a little bit of a dent down here on the tip, but uh, pretty sure that can get pulled out. But the rest of the tip is good. The exhaust is good, thank the Lord. Literally the damage really only affected part of the quarter panel. We can still reuse that. And this bumper, honestly, we have to cut it from right here and use the other bumper from the E91 and combine it. So. Since we're actually pretty much uh, building a bumper, this might still be usable, mainly because the tabs on this side still good and the tabs on the other side is perfect. So honestly, pretty much almost everything is reusable on this car for our project, which is like honestly the best door in a car we couldn't have gotten. In terms of the wheels, they're probably gonna go as well, but we're gonna rock them for now. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these wheels, but they got some good tires on them and the wheels honestly look pretty good condition, like barely any curb rash. But yes, guys, the E91 build is gonna be absolutely insane. Now, the first episode, um, I actually filmed it yesterday uh, because I just went, I kind of just went ham on the E91 and started taking some things off the front end. So you guys will be seeing that hopefully in the next video. And then I'm actually gonna be starting working on this even some more, trying to completely get the E91 shipped down because we need to get this thing off to paint. Because once we get that engine bay painted and the whole interior painted, then we can actually start reassembling and taking things off the E90 M3. I don't want to take apart all this stuff. We have so many parts back there, so many parts over here, and we still have so much parts to remove. I don't want to just take apart the E90 M3 and then just have so many parts everywhere. I want to be able to move, work. This is already kind of seeming like an overwhelming project but at the same time like that's the thing about life guys you have to try new things you have to kind of like push your limits and you can really surprise yourself on what you can actually achieve so anywho, um that's pretty much gonna have to conclude the video i'm gonna be going out there trying to figure out the whole e90 situation i'm just gonna be replacing um that little module if i show you guys what i'm talking about if i go ahead and pull this guy right over here we have the module right over here that's giving us all our issues i theoretically i believe this is the thing giving us all the issues on our e90 i will be pulling that exact same module out of this car to slap on this car um anyways it'll probably be better anyway to use as much modules from this car on this car because we are going to be using the dme the computer and everything so we do want the modules from that car everything to pretty much match because we we're literally transferring everything i'm pretty sure we're replacing literally the harness and everything moving on to this car it's literally going to be an insane transformation so yeah we are not going to be needing that and thank the lord because i am going to need it for the e90 would you guys look at that turned out to be a module that's crazy so anyways, guys, it's going to have to conclude the video. If you guys are excited to see E91 M3 content coming soon, uh, please smash that like button for me because the YouTube algorithms have not been on my side. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.